Hey, I'm Shannon. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking through some trends for spring and summer of 2018, as well as showing you some pieces that I've picked up that go along with these specific trends that are really in right now. So if you want some outfit inspiration, as well as like a little mini try on haul while I go through the trends, just keep watching. I'm sorry if you feel like this video is kind of late in the season to be giving you these ideas. It is April, but I woke up to snow on the ground, so it's just really weird. I mean, I'm still wearing sweaters. First off, I'm gonna start with prints and patterns that are really big right now. I love the idea of adding a print into your outfits just to give your outfit a little bit of a pop, and I think any of the prints that I'm about to list are just really great staples to have in your wardrobe that you can mix in with any outfits or any basics that you have in your wardrobe already. The first one that I am loving is polka dots. I just think it's super girly, super fun. You don't see polka dots as much as you see some other patterns and prints. So I think it's fun to kind of try something new for spring and summer. Another really big print that I have been seeing everywhere and I'm just gonna kind of tie it into one or plaid and gingham. They're a little bit interchangeable because you kind of style them in the same way. They're both a busier print, so you definitely wanna to tone down the other pieces. I think it's a great pattern to have for tops and bottoms. I have a couple of pairs of gingham pants from Forever 21 that are just like super cute, super easy. They're like pedal pushers is what my mom would call them. They're a bit of like the 60s vibe. A classic spring and summer print that you see every season but is still very in for this season as well is the floral print. I mean, that is just immediately what your mind goes to when you think that you're gonna go find a spring dress and that it has to be floral. So keep incorporating those florals into your wardrobe for spring and summer. I just think the color palette of the florals has changed a little, but I'll talk about that in a little bit. And then this also isn't necessarily a print wear pattern, but more so a material, but sheer is also still really in. Last spring and summer, mesh and sheer were still very much in. And so if you have some of those pieces in your wardrobe from last year, you can recycle them and use them again this year. The next topic I wanna to talk about is color palettes. And I'm so excited to say that pastels are in. I have a few pastel tees from Forever 21 that are just easy to throw on, but still incorporate some seasonal trends. The other color palette that is super in right now and is very 80s inspired are bright colors. So I'm thinking yellow, orange, a bright red, a bright blue, anything like that, that you look at it and it grabs your attention. Pick something like that up for your wardrobe. You won't regret it for this season. I love wearing black, it's very chic, it's very effortless looking, but a little pop of color to your outfit is definitely fun and trendy for the upcoming season. The next topic I'm talking about are silhouettes and shapes of the clothing items that are really in right now. In past years, it's been very evident that there's a specific decade that we're revisiting style-wise, but I think this year there's a nice mix and match of different decades. Um, I'm seeing a lot of 70s inspired stuff, 80s and 90s. Um, so it's really fun to draw pieces from each of those decades and not be heavily set specifically in one decade, if that makes any sense. So I'm gonna talk through the different decades and some of the silhouettes and like shapes of items that are really in, that are drawn from those specific eras. First off, our 70s inspired items. I'm talking about the frilly, flowy, very fun pieces that are very bohemian chic and wide leg pants, which are really in right now. Another very 70s trend that's come back really hard this season is the smock material. I picked up a few of those smock crop top and tube tops from Forever 21, which I'm showing you an overlay of right now. Next are the 80s inspired silhouettes. And the 80s ones are very fun for me. I think that 80s style is definitely more out there. But these silhouettes, it's gonna be more angled or structured pieces. Um, I'm specifically thinking of this top I have from Forever 21 that's pink and white striped, but it has very structured sleeves that are a little bit abstract. So any of those pieces that have a very distinct shape are very in right now and very 80s inspired. Next for 80s inspiration is menswear. This has been in a little bit so far over the past few seasons but I think is really taking stride recently. I think for spring and summer, you're gonna be seeing a lot of cohorts of blazers and skirts or blazers and um, short combos. I have a yellow one that's from Forever 21 and the blazer has shoulder pads and everything. And now onto the 90s inspired silhouettes. The 90s baggy pants trend and the sporty pants trend that's in right now. Um, very in are the snap detailing side pants that 
I personally, they make me think of basketball because we used to wear those as like basketball warm up pants and then you would just like snap them off when you were ready to go play. But I love that these are more of a fashion trend right now and you can dress them up with heels or go for a more sporty look and throw on some chunky sneakers. I personally don't have any to show you quite yet, but I'll show you the pieces that I've been eyeing online, including the IMG pants, which I'm sure everyone has seen at this point. I mean, they're so popular, but they are so cute and so spot on to the style. And then another 90s trend that is really in are the kind of logo style tops. These are very much in with the really prominent clothing brands like Balenciaga, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Um, obviously, those aren't very accessible because they're extremely expensive. So if you're able to try to find some like knockoffs, if you will, I mean, I guess inspired by these types of brands is a better way to put it. I picked up a Forever 21 t-shirt that is very inspired by Gucci. If you aren't familiar with the Gucci t-shirt, you may look at this t-shirt and not get the reference or the inspiration behind it, which is fine. If you're looking to try out this logos trend, I recommend more of the sporty brands like Adidas, Fila, Puma. They definitely have a little bit more accessible prices. And last but not least for this topic of trends for spring and summer are accessories. A very 70s inspired trend right now that are going to be huge for spring and summer of this year are the woven straw bags. You can find these bags almost anywhere. These bags are very easy to get and easy to style. So I definitely recommend picking one up for your spring and summer wardrobe. A very 80s inspired trend, which are the statement earrings. I personally don't have my ears pierced anymore. I had them done when I was younger and then let them close up. But I feel like with this new trend, I really want to go get my ears re-pierced just because I love how fun the statement earrings are. And now a 90s inspired accessory trend are, of course, the chunky platform dad sneakers, which some people are probably cringing just thinking about them. I feel like as soon as you say dad sneaker, that automatically is like questionable. But I just love this trend for some reason. I'm sorry if this ruins your opinion of me, but I don't care. <laughs> I feel like the ultimate example of how great these sneakers are, are the Louis Vuitton Arclight sneakers. They are amazing. They just look so architectural and I just love the idea of them. And I feel like that's a huge part of fashion is architecture. And I feel like I sound so pretentious saying that, but it's true. And I said it. <laughs> If you want to kind of start off small, I recommend just a platform sneaker that's not as adventurous as the very chunky dad sneakers that are out right now. I picked up a pair of platform sneakers with floral embellishments from Forever 21. In my head, they are very Gucci inspired as well, but you can decide for yourself. As far as like the chunky, more dad sneaker, I love the Fila ones the most. I definitely have my eyes on those. This is definitely one of those trends that you can easily incorporate into your wardrobe. It's not something that's super hard. They can pretty much be styled any way you want. I think they're super fun, super cute, and I'm gonna stop talking about them now. So those are all of my spring and summer 2018 trends and tips for you. I hope this gave you some inspiration for when you go out shopping for the new seasons and helps you narrow down which trends you wanna try out. If you liked this video, you'll probably like my other videos, so definitely go check them out and hit subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Don't forget to hit the like button also and leave me a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.